New this afternoon, just one day after the city of Cincinnati forgave part of Mahogany's owner Liz Rogers' $300,000 loan, we're learning she's going to start two new businesses, two new business ventures, that is, in the Queen City. Not on your side, reporter Ali Kramer is live this afternoon with the new information. Ali. Well, Julie, Mahogany's here at the banks. While it actually failed a long time ago, but now today, Liz Rogers, the owner, she's putting all of that behind her, and now she's telling us that she's starting two new ventures, an ice cream business and a food truck selling chicken wings. Now, we're told that Liz is able to start these new businesses because of this deal that she made with city manager Harry Black just yesterday. Now, in that deal, she'll only pay back $100,000 of the $300,000 loan she originally received from the city. Now, she'll be making payments of $800 a month for about the next 10 years or so. Now, that money, her attorney, Robert Krosky, says is largely contingent upon the success of her next two ventures. He also says a $200,000 loss to the city from all money from taxpayers really amounts to nothing, claiming the city wastes money like that on other projects as well. In the great scheme of things, the amount that's being lost on this is infinitesimal compared to the amount of money squandered by both the federal government, uh, the city on other things. But I would also say that in life, you make investments and you make attempts to make things work out. And in this case, the taxpayers are better off under this scenario than they would be under others. Now, Liz's attorney tells us that this is a done deal. It didn't need approval from city council, but we've heard from at least one member who tells us that he's not happy about it, and he thinks that she's getting, a, you know, a better deal than the city is. Of course, they're cutting her some slack. We'll hear from Kevin Flynn, city council member, coming up at 12:30. Reporting live downtown, Allie Kramer, men on your side. Allie, thanks.